White nationalist Richard Spencer came and went from the University of Florida relatively peacefully tonight. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh Rowe. I'm Kim Chapman. This video here actually shows police holding back a, a crowd of protesters at the speech, but Spencer really didn't say much. He wasn't able to because there were so many people yelling and booing and screaming and protesting out there. And this is video of one man who was punched in the face during a protest outside the speech. He's wearing a white shirt with a swastika. Only two people were arrested out of the 2,500 protesters at the University of Florida today. CNN reports a public school paid more than $600,000 in extra security. Those efforts were to prevent any violence or riots from breaking out like what happened in Charlottesville, Virginia. Tonight, James Torres talks with a woman who saw that violence firsthand, and he joins us now live to tell us why Spencer speaks each reminds her of that deadly protest. James. Josh and Kim, I'm standing here at Mercy Junction. This is a faith center around town. I spoke to its director who told me that she was a protester in Charlottesville and she worried that some of the violence she saw there could have made its way down to Florida. That's why she has some plans to go down to the Sunshine State and protest again. It began the second we walked out of the church. Beth Foster recalls the violence she saw in Charlottesville, Virginia, where a Unite the Right rally led by Richard Spencer and the National Policy Institute turned deadly. We saw people beaten. Um, we saw all of it. We saw them come running in with their shields and just their vile words and their violence. Today, Spencer took the stage at the University of Florida. Foster says she wanted to make the trip to Gainesville, but with a White Lives Matter rally planned in Middle Tennessee next weekend, she says she's going to Shelbyville instead. I think there will be a lot of people there, probably on both sides, who were in Charlottesville. The League of the South is organizing that rally. On their website, it says their ultimate goal is a free and independent Southern Republic. Foster says because of that, she is worried about violence. So I think it's very important that as Tennesseans, we let them know that there is not a place for racism and hatred and all of these vile things in our state. And that rally in Shelbyville is scheduled for next Saturday on October 28th. Kim? James, I have a quick question for you here. You are a University of Florida alum. Do you know anyone who took part in the protest today? Yeah, it's true, Kim, and absolutely. I know plenty of uh, friends who are out there for a variety of different reasons, as well as some former colleagues who were out just covering the story. And really what was a big thing to me that kind of appealed to me was just seeing so many different uh, law enforcement agencies just go to a, a small town like Gainesville. And I know a lot of you at home can definitely relate to me on this on this next point here. Just seeing a place that you used to call home for a little, a little while, a long time, making national headlines on the networks and, you know, you'll definitely see this in the newspapers tomorrow. Uh, it's just something that was a little bizarre and not something you see every day, Kim. All right, James, thank you very much. And we are told tonight that no law enforcement officers were hurt during the protests.